I thought today we'd take a little bit of time and take a look at a racing clutch. And <laughs> some of you may not even know what a clutch is to begin with, but this is a part that goes between the engine and transmission and uh, makes the car go. When it's all connected together, the car moves, and when it's uncoupled or disconnected or released, the car doesn't move, it's in uh, sort of neutral. But this is uh, more specifically a Tilton uh, racing clutch. This is a five and a half inch diameter clutch. This is an old one. It's uh, sort of toast. And uh, they come in different sizes. I mean, a clutch in a conventional streetcar could be 10 inch, 11, 10 and a half, somewhere in that neighborhood. So this is only five and a half. And these come also in seven inch. Um, obviously, the smaller you go, the uh, less the rotating mass is, but um, the less sort of friction surface you have. So uh, this is a clutch that would commonly be used in circle track cars, uh, maybe an Indy car, uh, could be even a little bit smaller an Indy car. This particular clutch has uh, one, two, three, four discs in it, plus, plus the plates. And uh, we'll see, I don't know if we can get this apart or not, because it's, as I said, it's toast. It's kind of fused together, so we'll see. But this basically is what's called the floater. This is the clutch disc. It's just a flat disc. It has a spline in the middle that goes on the input shaft in your transmission and will spin with the transmission like so. And then the flywheel that's bolted onto the back of the engine would be up against that face and then you have a throw out bearing or a release bearing on this side when you push the clutch pedal basically it pushes in on the fingers on this diaphragm and releases pressure on all these discs and allows them to spin freely in between the metal plates but this is the first disc um, it's seen better days. Uh, normally what you do is you'd measure these and they, when they get to a certain thickness then they're worn out. And if you haven't killed everything else, you can put new discs in and keep on going. But we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get this one apart. Like I said, it's toast and <laughs> it may not come apart. We'll have to see. These things should just slide apart and obviously this one ain't sliding. It's not hardly moving at all. <laughs> this maybe won't. This may not make for a good video. I don't know. <laughs> it takes forever to get it apart. We may have to try to get it apart off camera. It is moving here a little bit. I haven't really, if I heated it up a little bit, it's kind of cold in here. So if I heated it up a little bit, it might be where you can already see that I've pried that plate up. And this other disc is loose in there, but uh, we'll keep working on it here a little bit at a time, see if we can get it out of there. That's probably why it's been sitting around, because somebody decided that it wasn't worth saving. Okay, so with a little bit of effort, we get this uh, first plate out of here. These are the steels, and uh, they, they lay in there like that and clamp the floaters. So what happens is, and this, these things are all rusty from sitting, but uh, those discs slide against this surface when you're releasing and, and engaging the clutch, and that's what gives you the action. So we'll put that on there, then we've got another clutch disc and you know that one's it's it's certainly seen some wear i mean i wouldn't have had it apart i wouldn't run that again but you know uh, the other thing is that you got to make sure these things have a hub on one side the rivets on the other so you got to make sure that you stack them in there properly so that the hubs don't butt up against each other that sort of won't work too good so we'll get in here and see if we can get another steely out of here and 
have to work on it the same as the first one. Uh, there's some little pads on the side here that allow that, these things to slide because the cover, I'm sure, is aluminum or some such material. Now they make these clutches with uh, carbon material. Uh, these are metallic, this particular one. Uh, the carbon ones are super expensive and I don't know, in some cases it'd be okay. It depends on the application, but uh, <laughs> this one, this is kind of funny trying to get this apart. I mean, you've got to get it up out of there evenly, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, Ah, that just doesn't want to come up out of there. At some point, you just got to throw this thing away and start all over again. But it's okay for demonstration purposes. A clutch like this, when it's all said and done, probably would cost in the area of uh, eleven to twelve hundred dollars. Certainly not cheap and you wouldn't want to have to replace it all the time this one's going to be problematic i think the further we go into this you may have to get a persuader out persuade this a little bit let's uh let's see if we can get a persuader to uh to help us kind of persuasion we're going to have to use here. Let's try turning it upside down and uh, we're going to get in there and knock those down a little bit. Hmm. Got these couple here that don't want to move. Yeah, I think we convinced it there. Let's see. Of course, one of the secrets is you got to get it square. You get it in there cockeyed. just makes matters worse. So, you know, the problem is in here and on these feet. So we take that one, and again, we see it's not bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad. It's seen better days. Now we've got another disc. Lay that in the stack. And we got another steel here, and this one is a little looser than the one before, at least. Maybe we get that one out. Hmm. You gotta hold your mouth right here. Look at that. We sneak up on it. Man, we're on a roll. We'll lay that one there. And we have another disc. Now there's some rust on that one because this thing's been sitting around and then we've got our final sort of plate here the main pressure plate we can get it out of there is to get it square so now you see on this one the main pressure plate we've got this ring here and what happens is that that is what sits against this adventure here this is the diaphragm and um, these are basically springs and you can get them you take these bolts out that whole diaphragm assembly would come out of there and you can get these in different um, weights let's say or uh, different strengths so then this is the clutch cover 
And there you have it. That's your basic, this is, as I say, a Tilton five and a half inch racing clutch. You know, <laughs> the housing itself uh, on this unit is, doesn't appear to be too bad. We clean up these faces of where the steels run and uh, perhaps replace this spring in here. Um, could you rebuild this and make it a player again? Uh, maybe could. It's probably why we never threw it away. But uh, sometimes it's hard to beat that new stuff.